My name is Autumn Sky McKay. I was born on September 7, 1996. My mom and dad's names are Gwen and Michael McKay. When my mom gave birth to me, it was really hard on her body and she actually nearly died. She was not aware until after giving birth to me that, and having her heart examined that she has a tiny hole in her heart and also a blood clotting disorder. Having me caused a huge amount of stress on her heart and she also got very, very sick and had to stay in the hospital for three weeks. I thank God every day that she got through that. I don't know what I'd do if I didn't have her. After learning this, she realized that it was too risky to have any more kids. This was hard for her and later hard for me to learn that there wasn't much chance of me having younger brothers or sisters. But growing up as an only child turns out amazing. It was just my mom and I and I can honestly say for the most part I had a great childhood. Unfortunately, I did not have my father growing up. My mom and dad got a divorce when I was one year old, mostly because my dad never quite fully got out of the party stage and got extremely hung up on drugs, mostly cocaine. To support his drug habit, he broke into my mom and grandma's homes and took almost everything valuable in them. It still hurts me to think how he could do something like that to us, especially with me only being one and my mom having to support me on her own. But growing up, I have seen how drugs can take over a person and it's really sad. He would come and go in and out of my life, mostly out. He served a lot of time for stealing from my mom and then other things. This was really confusing for me as a child, not knowing why he wasn't around and why I couldn't see him. My mom is the most important person in the world to me and the strongest woman I know. She has taught me not to set limits on what I can do. I will always look up to her. She is my hero and my best friend. She had to play both roles when raising me, being both a mom and dad and also working all the time. She did an outstanding job. The biggest reason I am the way I am is because of her amazing guidance. I never truly appreciated how great of a mom I had until I realized that some others did not have it so lucky. It breaks my heart to see people struggle in life due to not having the proper guidance growing up. My mom and I enjoy each other's company and I love shopping with her because she's the only one who will be completely honest. She is there for me whenever I need her no matter what. Whenever I'm having a tough time making a decision, she always has something insightful to say that will help. Even though we argue, I know that she always has my best interests at heart. There is nothing more powerful than a mother's love, and I will forever be grateful for everything she's done for me. In March of 2010, I met my half-brother. When I was younger, I found out that I had an older brother out there somewhere, but we didn't know where. My dad got his girlfriend pregnant in high school, and there are so many different stories, but somehow he signed away his rights. He claims he got tricked into it, but I'm not really sure how that happens. Anyways, one day I got a Facebook message from Kayla Schultz. She said that she is my brother's girlfriend and that they would really like to meet me. Crazy thing is, they lived 10 minutes away from me this whole time, right here in Wildwood. We clicked right away. It was really awesome. Meeting a whole new side of the family was the best experience in the world. My brother's name is Justin, and in the past five years I've gotten so close with him and Kayla and both of their families. Justin has an outstanding personality, and he has helped me so much. He's the brother I always wanted, and it sucks we couldn't grow up together. But it really feels like I've known them forever. And the best part is, I have a beautiful niece and two nephews. Having them in my life now, I don't know what I'd do without them. You can count on me like one, two, three, I'll be there. And I know when I need it, I can count on you like four, three, two. That's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah. Ooh, 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 yeah. Family is extremely important to me. I especially love both my grandmas so much. On my mom's side, my grandma is one of the funniest people I know and we are very, very close. I feel like she brings that whole side of the family together. She is always putting others before herself and she does everything she can for our family. Unfortunately, I recently found out that she is entering stage 5 kidney failure, and it's really scary for me to think about. It's going to be extremely hard for me not to have her around. I hope I can have a lot of time left with her. My dad's mother is also an amazing grandma. I call her Nana. Even when my dad wasn't around, she spent a lot of time with me and never missed a holiday, which kept me close to that side of the family. My dad got his life together for the most part when I was about 14 and he wanted to build a relationship. He still owes my mom over $50,000 in child support which he started slowly paying so that he could see me. After him and my mom split, he had a daughter who was 5 years younger than me. Her name is Summer. 
She has a great little sister and she looks up to me, but they live about an hour away so I can't be there for her as much as I'd like to. It sucks that I didn't get to live with my two siblings growing up, but I'm glad that I have a good relationship with them both now. I love all of my awesome crazy family. You're gonna miss this. You're gonna want this back. You're gonna wish these days hadn't gone by so fast. These are some good times. So take a good look around. You may not know it now. But you're gonna miss this. she knows it, she's a brand new bride in her one bedroom apartment and her daddy stops by he tells her it's a nice place she says it'll do for now starts talking about babies and buying a house and daddy shakes his head and says baby just slow down you're gonna miss this You're gonna want this back You're gonna wish these days Hadn't gone by so fast These are some good times So take a good look around You may not know it now But you're gonna miss this Friends are extremely important growing up. They help you better understand yourself and the people you connect with. Also, having good friends in your life teaches you to appreciate people. Even though some may come and go, you learn from it and appreciate the experience and memories. High school is a roller coaster ride and friends help you get through it. My best friend Mallory is the one person who understands me the most. Sadly, her and her family moved to Florida two years ago. It's been hard, but we still talk every week and she's always there for me. I think it's crazy how two years have passed and we act the same exact way around each other. I'm very excited for her to come stay with me for a month this summer. Within the next few years, we plan on moving closer together, which will be a lot easier to have her around all the time again. Danny Diassi is another one of my best friends. She is one of the sweetest people I know, and it's, it's always a great time with her. She's very supportive, and I know I can count on her for anything. My friends are a huge part of who I am today. They are amazing, and I love them all like family. Oh. Can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you're gonna be with me for the last it's ride. It's been a long day without you, my friend. And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again. I see you again. We've come a long way, yeah, we came a long way. from where we began. You know we started. Oh, I'll tell you all about it. Watch your way and the vibe is feeling stronger with small turn to a friendship a friendship turn to a bond and that bond will never be broken the love will never get lost and when brotherhood come first then the line will never be crossed established it on our own when that line had to be drawn and that line is what we reach so remember me when i'm gone can we not talk about family when family's all that we got? Everything I would do, you were standing there by my side. And now you're gonna be with me for the last time. Let the light guide your way. Yeah. Hold every memory as you go. My boyfriend's name is Richie Russo. We've been dating for a year and two months, and he makes me the happiest girl in the world. He is one of the most important people in my life, and he encourages me to be the best I can be, and I will always love him for that. There is truly never a dull moment with him. I've never felt so good about being with someone in my entire life. He is my best friend and my future husband. When you say you love me, no, I love you more. And when you say
fall I will be attending CLC for a degree in accounting. I will then further my education at a university in which whatever state I decide to move to and pursue my CPA certification and build a career and hopefully later a family. This is my life in a nutshell.